How to troubleshoot LG ThinkU app product connection issues. If you have trouble connecting your product to the LG ThinkU app, find out the problem and resolve it by following the instructions. The no network connection message. If the no network connection message popped up when adding a product, make sure that your smartphone is properly connected to the wireless router. If your smartphone is not connected, check if the router is powered on, or if the router is properly connected to the LAN cable. The router not found message. If the router not found message popped up when adding a product, make sure your Wi-Fi network name and password do not include unacceptable special characters. If they do, the ThinkU app may not be able to locate the router. Change the Wi-Fi name and password so that it only includes English characters, numbers, or certain special characters. When the wireless router has been replaced, if the wireless router has been replaced, you need to change the network of products that are connected to the app. Tap the top left menu icon on the ThinkU app home screen and enter Device Settings. Select the product that you want to reset the network and tap Change Network. When the list of Wi-Fi networks appears, select the Wi-Fi network of the new router. When the product registration is complete via the changed network, you will be able to use it on the app without any problems. Tips for troubleshooting product connectivity problems. Place the router as close to the product as possible and you will be able to register the product more easily. If the product is far away from the router, setting up an additional router in between is also recommended. Power off, then power back on the product. You may temporarily fail to add products due to failure in transmission and reception. In this case, power off the product. Wait for a minute or so. Then, power back on the device and try again. Power off, then power back on the wireless router. If the Wi-Fi signal is weak, you may have trouble adding products. In this case, power off, then power back on the router and try again.